Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm really sorry to bother you, but um, you and my friend sit. I'm sorry I didn't see any reservation on this seat when I came here. Oh, oh yes, I'm sorry about that. She's not yet around, so I, I actually went through some book from the shelf. So by the time I came back, you were here, and I even dropped this book here, so you know someone was sitting down here. This is where I want to sit. Is there a problem with that? All I'm saying is please just stand up, okay? There's so many other seats here and you can use any of them. Please, please. 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 please, can you just leave? Okay. Where is my seat? This is it. So why is he here? I've been so polite with him. Telling him to stand up so he could go to another seat because you were here and he doesn't want to. Excuse me? Could you... Get up from my seat. Um, are you stupid? We don't get any significant stuff out of the seat. What? Get out. Get up. Good morning, folks, and welcome to the Saturday Show. Now, this morning, I'm having with me a thespian. He's called here at the Great University of Benin at Kenwan Campus, where he read theater arts. Mm -hmm. And today, he's not just a thespian, but a veteran mm -hmm. in the movie industry in Nigeria, dubbed Nollywood. I'm talking about none other than the one and only playful, energetic, Professional <laughs> <laughs> actor extraordinaire. Oh, yeah, Yemi Black. Oh, yeah, yeah. how are you doing, my brother? Yeah, well. Good to have you. So nice to see you again. It's been <laughs> so, too yeah. long. The good so long. Long. all over you, man. Oh, man, same I need, to, I need to come back home. Same you on know, you, brother. I need, like I need the good life. Like Sydney, are you serious? Like the good life is in it. Man, good right. to have you in the house. And I have out there the producer of the upcoming movie, Siege of Wickedness. Oh, yeah, but how are you doing? I'm good, Mr. Moses. How are you doing? Uh, Good to have you right here. Uh, I'm the executive producer. Executive yeah. producer, okay? Mr. Moses is the associate the producer. Oh, oh, all right, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, Thanks for uh, whipping me back on track. Uh, back on line. Now, quickly, man, let's talk about you first and foremost, yeah, then yeah. be then, before we get into that movie for real, you know? Um, the, the, the lockdown hmm. has been so harsh and biting. Yeah. Creators have been at home for like ever. Yeah. But thank God, like it's been observed, yeah. the lockdown is gradually being relaxed for the bits, yeah. or for the bits for now. Yeah. yeah. How did you cope? How did you, how did you fare through the lockdown? Um, the, the lockdown was an eye opener for so many reasons. Uh, the first thing is, uh, before the lockdown, I had locked down with my family for a week. Oh. Uh, before this, they actually government on your own, on my own, because I saw I was following the the news of the pandemic. And I saw the way it was moving. I said, no, not today. I don't want any part of this. So we locked down a week before. And then the government now said two weeks. I'm like, okay, great. And for those two weeks, I mean, literally, no one stepped out of the gate. Yeah. So we had bought enough food, stocked the place off, yeah. and all that. And then it kept dragging. And money was being spent. Yeah. And money wasn't coming in. So it was a very good eye opener, you know, that for anyone out there who's doing whatever business you do, you know, for entertainers, you know, there's always money. Because from week to week, you're working. There's always something happening that brings money in but the lockdown just shows that you need to have a, if I have multiple streams of income you know it's very multiple, multiple, of multiple income, yeah. for any man who is above 25 you need to have at least five six businesses yeah. operating at any time that's the truth right. you know so but it was good for me um, thank God um, I didn't have to beg uh, uh, there, there was enough money to, to last through the period yeah. and, um, and and over I was still able to reach out to a couple of people in that time and, um, uh, you know, it, it was an eye-opener. Uh, we've survived it. We thank God for what's going on. I mean, hey, we're working now. I'm yeah. Not yeah. yeah. But for me, there's no way before the end of the year that I'm not adding another three lines of business to my business. <laughs> because that's the truth, my brother. Because if, that, not, you, if not, you go hungry. That's for yeah. sure. So that's, that's for that's sure. That's right. Now, yeah. talking about the lockdown as well brings yeah. to mind the cinemas. Yeah. Yet to be opened yeah. officially. Yeah. Right? So, I don't know. Do you really see us 
winning this war because we're actually fighting a war with our yeah. unseen enemy. enemy yeah. So do you see us winning this war at least this year? No, no, not, not, it wraps up. not this year. We're not going to get a vaccine this year. We're going to get a vaccine next year. Oh and until that time, governments are not going to allow such high risk areas to mm. be open. So what is, what's happening at the moment is once again, the, the life is going digital. Yeah. Everyone is going online. They're doing the business online. I mean, see what happened with Zoom, how much money they made in a yeah. short period of time. See what happened to Facebook yeah. and all the um, Netflix and how much, you know, um, the, the stock indexes, yeah. the uh, share indexes rose in that period of time. So basically what's going on at the moment is that we're not going to be able to go back to the format of going to the cinemas to, you know, premiere movies, but we're still going to have to fight platforms because they're online platforms. There are many of them, There's Amazon, Netflix, and the rest of them that are out there that, you know, movies are being, you know, showcased on. So that's where movie makers are moving now because okay. we have to go with the trend. But will this new normal be, your, um, you know, profitable like... The days of old where you have to premiere, you know, make money, well, go through the rounds of cinema and all of that. You need, so to, be that you need to profitable. realize that the same persons who go to the cinemas are the same ones who are going to watch at home. Okay. And, and maybe more. Because right. some people don't go to cinemas yeah. by virtue of their health, by virtue of their age, by virtue of status, so and so many things. Yeah. But they're able to sit at home and say, you know what, I'm just going to see this movie with my family, you know. And the thing is, with, um, with that... Every time you go online to see that movie, you get to pay for it one way or another. So mm -hmm. trust me, there, there are going to be multiple streams that are going to come up online okay. to let you, you know, to let us go into that. So we'll probably be making as much money, if not more. All right, okay. okay. Yeah. We just hope for the best because yeah. I really want the best at the end of the day to hear us because I think we're done in town with the whole sit back at home thing. Oh, trust me, it's, I it's, just it's, can't wait to get back to normal life, man. It's, 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 it's actually even easier in Benin than Lagos. I mean, I've, yeah, yeah big, oh, I've yeah. been here for a couple of days mm -hmm. and. Um, and there was a night that, you know, we had to go out. And uh, I dare say that I was really shocked yeah. by the crowd that was outside, yeah. by the fact that people stayed well till 2 a.m. Yeah. And uh, in fact, I had to leave because I had to go to work the next morning. Yeah, well, next but morning. the guys are still having fun. And in Lagos, 10 o'clock is 10 o'clock. It's a lockdown. Mm. You can't go anywhere. If you go anywhere, you may be embarrassed. I'll no matter you. what your status is. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? So I think it's easy. So imagine what we're going through in Lagos. It's still pretty much canting. You know, All right. You know. Now, um, a colleague of yours, Mr. Ibu, yeah. John Okafo, actually said mm. a couple of weeks back, he doesn't believe there is COVID-19 in Nigeria. Mm. Quote him now, it's not supposed to be our thing. It's supposed to be their thing out there, not our thing down here, because mm. he thinks and believes that he's of the impression the coronavirus is still minimal down here in Nigeria. Well, true. What's your school of thought I that? think that it's, um, it's a lack of... Um, proper awareness that's led to people thinking about. Are we saying John Okafor isn't aware? If, if uh, the awareness had gone out in the way that it should have about what's going on really with the pandemic, I think he would have seen from a different perspective. Because my perspective on that is that COVID is so real. It is very here. People are dying of it. Um, we have seen big men and people who can afford to buy whole hospitals and they've died from this. Mm -hmm. So it just shows you it's here. Um, uh, about uh, uh, um, two months ago, I was, um, I was down with malaria. Now, normally, I don't have malaria. I don't. I'm one of those guys who just get up and go every day. Okay. You know, so I felt symptoms because I went out to the studio. I want to record a song. And I was coming back. I just felt, you know, then Madame came to pick me from there. We got home. And she came down with malaria at the same time. So I thought to myself, since when did malaria become communicable, mm. right? And that's when I realized <laughs> that both of us had COVID. Oh boy. So I actually had it. So you are a COVID oh, yes. survivor. Yes, sir. Wow. So it's so it's very real to me. I know that it's real. I know it's out there. So for anyone who can take care of themselves and be careful, please be. Because fortunately for me, I never went beyond um, stage one. You know what I mean, right? I never yeah. went beyond stage one. Because you get to other stages, stages that you can't breathe and you're coughing and all that. I never went beyond. But the truth of the matter is for those who have been there, they see heaven and back. They say it's like placing a house on your chest and you can't breathe literally so it's not something that we want to do at all wow man having a great job out here with yami black man and it is shocking to know you actually survived oh, covid19 yeah. oh, yeah. so i think you should be in the best um, position to school us oh, oh yes <laughs> you know unlike yeah. others mm. who are yet to actually have Feel you know a taste of it oh, yeah. <laughs> but we just hope they don't nah, at the end I'm of the day you know? so. no, it's not something good. anyone wants to feel that's <laughs> that's, 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 trust me man it's crazy man so now let's come to you now bro yes, um, let me quote this interview you had a couple of um 
uh, months back or so, yeah, mm. where you talk about fame, yeah. and not being comfortable with yeah, you know, yeah, fame. Yeah. Was that true, or you were just playing with no, words? No, 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 I don't play. I don't play like that. Um, um, uh, fame is a great thing, you know. It's nice to be known. It's nice for people to recognize you wherever you go. But it has its downsides, and that is. I mean, we've been shooting. You know how we're walking somehow. Some people want to take photos. Uh, it's a nice feeling, you know. But sometimes you're not in the best of moods. Sometimes you just want to go somewhere and be anonymous. You don't want people to shake your hand. You don't want to take photos. You just want to walk in like every other person mm. and not be recognized. So that's why I think like Maja, he got a right <laughs> formula. You know what I mean? Because he would walk in here, and no one would know. I'm sorry. That's like Maja, unless yeah. he wears his masquerade thing. Yeah. You know. So for me, it's just being ups and downs. But I mean, there are good sides to it, to being famous. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, people recognize you, so they tend to uh, be nicer, yeah. tend to open doors. Um, so, but if you ask me, I rather would be anonymous. Anonymous, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, now good to know that you are in town, and I know that you are you are not just in town for. Uh, for Chile. being in town safe. No, 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 you are here for a reason. A while, so yeah. what's the reason for you being in town safe? I'm here because of this young man here. Okay. He's a great son of the soil. Yeah. Um, he has brought me to shoot a movie entitled The Siege of Wickedness. Siege of Wickedness. Oh, yes. And that sounds um, deep and loud. Oh, yes. It's, wow. a, it's a family story about okay. uh, the intricacies of marriage and how one man finds himself in deep waters because of the mistakes that he made at some point and um, how he managed to extricate himself wow. from the mess that he'd become. So once again, kudos to this, um, to this young man. Yeah. He's doing great things, you know. Okay. He's coming into the movie industry and he's coming with the right people because he has the backings of people like Lancelot, mm. you know, and uh, you know, other strong men in the industry. So I know that over, over the years, he's going to have more amazing. More amazing. Out. Yes. Okay, me. cool. Now, let's get to meet you, bro. Mm. Now, what, um, what, pro what triggered you? What propelled you? into doing this movie. Okay, thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Sidney. Yeah. Um, while I was growing up, you know, I love movies. Mm. I love movies and I also love football. Mm. And then I had this thing inside of me, like the young must surely go. Yeah, that's what's up. Mm. So I believe that if the young ones like are given opportunity, they yeah. will sell. Yeah. You understand? Because the reason why a lot of people out there mm. are not progressing or selling in the industry is because no they support. don't see support. Yeah. yeah. So that's why. I myself, I look for this opportunity at one yeah. point. I didn't get it. I said, mm. okay, no problem. I'm going to, you know, try and fight back, like mm. hustle. Or fighting doesn't mean I'm punching someone. <laughs> I'm going to hustle, mm. deprive myself, sleep, and make sure I get to a point where when I have something, and then I'm going to introduce young people. Yeah. Like, the whole thing was, it was even a young girl. Mm. that wrote this particular story. The younger wrote yes. this story. Yeah. Okay. And then she contacted me and then she said, this is what I have on ground. I said, okay. Send it to me on my email. Then I check it. I said, okay, no problem. Mm. Although she wasn't a professional though. Yeah. So I said, okay, all the backing she need, I'll give it to her. I'll give it to you. So yeah. I said, what's the budget like? They told me. And then I smiled because I know how the industry is. Yeah. So I said, no problem, because I always have, that's plan A. Yeah. So I always have plan B. So plan I decided to say, okay, let me reserve something. And lo and behold, what I tried to do <laughs> from the beginning, mm -hmm. actually a call while we yeah. were shooting, yeah. you understand? Even before from day one, the you project was gone. Yeah, that's what's gone. Sad. So that's if I didn't have plan B, maybe <laughs> like, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be back to later already. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had to have plan yeah. B on brand. Okay. And then hope, by the grace of God, you know, all glory must be to God. I always okay. tell people, that's my slogan. All the glory. If, say, if I give somebody something and the person tells me thank you, I say all the glory to God. Be to God. Oh, so right. that's just it. And okay. that's why we are shooting here in Benin. I said, Benin yeah, yeah, I'm a Benin boy. Yeah. Yeah. Son of the soil, motor. We are Let's make it happen. Yeah, right let's make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, at the end of the day, what do you guys hope this um, movie will teach? It's just to make people, people realize that there's yeah. no ultimate good and there's no ultimate bad. Right. Uh, and we need to learn to forgive, you know what I mean, right? Because living with another person, marriage is a, it's a mixture of, sort of two differences. You take someone from a background, you take another person from another background, you put them together. So yeah. inside of that institution, people need to learn to forgive and realize that over time, when you give chances, things can get better. Okay. Mm. All right. Then how soon are we expecting this movie to drop digitally? Well, if all things work for good, yeah. of which we are expecting that, so two, three weeks it should be out. 
two, three okay. weeks from now. Because that's where shooting, someone is editing, you know yeah, what okay, I mean? So it makes right. work faster. Oh, yeah. Because actually, sometimes you can finish shooting today and you have the movie edited by tomorrow. Yeah. Because they, they edit as you go. Yeah. You know, but to someone who's working or editing, make sure that the color grading is amazing. So when it comes out, it doesn't look like, you know, because people expect a certain standard from Benin. They always think, oh, you know, it's a Benin film. No, but this is mm. not a Benin thing because well, Benin is not thing. supposed to be known for a certain small yeah. standard. Yeah. Right. The, the re creating, re. Uh, re defining the image of Benny movie making. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, so that's it. All right, yeah. cool, man. So, in a nutshell, right, uh, Yemi Black, yeah. what would you say has been your high and low moments in the industry? Mm. Because you pull, you put in quite a long time yeah. in the industry. But, but I think my high moment really was just um, the, the time that I started working. For me, because, I mean, my highest is not, it's yet to come, really. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was just knowing that I've always wanted to be an actor. I didn't stumble into this. I wanted to be an actor. Yeah. I came into the industry, and within a short time, I was accepted. I was recognized for my talent, you know. And then the low, well, would be still not um, being able to encompass the right budget that I would like to shoot a movie that I would like, okay. yeah, but we're working on that, to be able to get okay. that, because for me, there's a certain standard. Okay. Um, Hollywood is out there, and they have all that budget, but with the bit of that, we can get there. So we're working on it, by the grace of the Almighty, by okay. next year, okay. we'll be hearing a project coming from Yemi Black. Oh, and it will oh. be amazing. It will shock you. It will shock me. <laughs> <laughs> I am a shocker. Yeah. So it will be a shocker. I'm telling you. And then, uh, quickly, right, uh, you, have, you have been able, I don't know how you're able to do it, mm. to distance yourself from scandals yeah. over these years. Yeah. What's up? Is it because... Okay, so let's get to know from you. No, no, How did you make for it For me, happen? it's um, once again, there's mm -hmm. no saint. There's no ultimately good person or ultimately bad person. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, there's something called respect. And respect is not about just prostrating. It's respecting yourself. Yeah. And when you respect yourself, you don't want anything to taint you. And when you do that, you limit the exposure to those things that can taint you. You know what I mean, right? And to make things easier for me, I'm not really much of a going out kind of guy. Yeah. So if you limit going out to certain places and certain things, you know, uh, you, got, you, 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 you limit your exposure. So for me, it's just respecting myself, respecting my family, respecting my name, and understanding that there's some people that thrive in scandal. Mm -hmm. When something negative happens, they thrive and they leave. Yeah. I don't like it, I don't want it for myself. Yeah. So I just live within the strictures of things that make me remain the Yemi Black that is untainted. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Nice one, my uh, brother. God bless you, Thanks so much for coming through. Thank you, really you know, uh, I can only see this movie. Yeah. I've seen a couple of others you've done. Oh, you're, past. So you're like this one. Yeah, and I know this one will rock as well. Yeah, rock. I just can't wait to get my eyes on it. And basically, it is <laughs> nice to be back home once again. Thank you so much for having us, and thanks, Signature Rock. Yeah, man. For shocking us. Thanks for coming. So, so, so. Brother, man. Thank you for that. All right, All right it's still there. Stop the show. You know what's next? Gossip Gang. I'll be back. It's 100% your weekend Kickstarter. Can you see? I'm sitting on a pillow. <laughs> I'm sitting on a pillow right now. First thing I noticed, uh, the, the, the people. Yes, and I also noticed that your power goes out a lot. And we're back. Yeah, we're back, yeah. You like? You like? You like? 100% Ninja content. My name is Sidney Shutter. I'm happy to have you on board. And this is the Saturday show. Let me just give you one line right, from right, the right. from the film. Maga. No de muku maga. You know the video of maga. Ah, uh, before uncle. 100% The It's the Saturday show Full Blast on ITV every Saturday. Your world back of experience. Your world back of experience. Oh, so okay. I'm going to tell like this. Oh, not your At 8 a.m. Keep it locked. <laughs>